Hey, everybody. Monster Hunter Monday. Mas uh, yeah, arguably the best Monday ever. We yeah. just... Uh, That's true. <laughs> Why don't you why don't you explain to people explain what, to people what, what happened on the this Monday? What did you see? Did you see what happened this weekend? Yep. I woke up at seven AM, six AM actually, mm -hmm. prep things up, uh post something at seven AM. And what we posted was an announcement of a new game. <gasps> what could it be? So uh, I don't know. Sounds like uh after three, the number we should use is uh, like three S or something like that. No, uh, they get out. Get out. The doors that way. <laughs> uh, sorry. Four. All Woo! right, let's. Uh, we have the trailer there, right, Greg? Can you? Uh, mm -hmm. After that delicious sip of coffee, can let's, you? Uh, let's do this. All right. And if you missed the trailer, this is it. Hello, hunters. 皆さんこんにちは。えー、カプコンスイモトです。えー、モンスターハンターシリーズのプロデューサーをやっております今日はですね北米欧州の皆様にスペシャルな情報を持ってきておりますので皆さんぜひ聞いてください、えー、実はですね先日日本で任天堂 t e n d 3DS 向け用の「モンスターハンター 4G」というタイトルを発表いたしました、えー、こちらですね現在開発中なんですが北米欧州のハンターの皆様にもいい情報を持ってきておりますモンスターハンター 4G の海外版であるモンスターハンター4アルティメイトこちらの方をですね今開発中であります2015年の初頭には北米の皆様欧州の皆様にお届けできるように開発を進めておりますので皆さんぜひ期待していただけたらと思っておりますあの多くの方にこのモンスターハンターシリーズプレイしていただけたと思うんですが今回のこのモンスターハンター 4U はですねアクション部分に関してちょっと進化させておりますそれがですね、えー、今までは平面上のアクションだったんですが今回高低差のアクションっていうところを入れております、えー、これを入れることによってよりダイナミックでよりスムーズなハンティングアクションを皆様にプレイしていただけるようになりましたそしてですね、えー、と従来通り、えー、みんなで集まってプレイするローカルプレイこちらの方はもちろん大会あの対応しておりますさらにですねインターネットを通じてのマルチプレイこちらもえー、初めて対応携帯機で,ですね単独でできるのは初めてモンスターハンターシリーズとしては対応しておりますのでぜひこの遠く離れたハンターの皆様とマルチプレイをこのインターネットマルチで遊んでいただき集まっていただいた時はローカルプレイでみんなで楽しんでいただけたらという環境が整いました今日はですねこの発表をですね私の口から北米欧州の皆様にしたいと思いこの映像を作らせていただきました今後もちろんですね、このモンスターハンター4アルティメイトに関する情報を続々出していきます。えー、そちらの方はですね、Facebook とかカプコンの、えー、Unity、こちらの方でどんどん皆様にお伝えしていきますので、えー、そちらの方をぜひ注目していただけたらと思います。それでは皆さん、えー、2015年の初頭、モンスターハンター4アルティメイトでお会いしましょう。Ah. I didn't want to. I didn't want to cut it before that uh, Gua fight. It's the Gore Magara. Yeah. The Gore Magara. So that's exciting stuff. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate coming early next year. Yeah. It's gonna be a wait, but uh, you know, it's good to know that we'll, we'll be here. the series is alive and well. Perhaps more right. alive and more well than ever. Oh yeah. And uh, I think we can both attest that uh, the game is. Quite nice, <laughs> quite nice, quite <laughs> nice. Just glistening, guys. Glistening with glistening. goodness. Are we allowed to start name dropping monsters yet, or are we. Gore Magala. The, yes. As you've seen on things like the Uniqlo shirts that you bought, there was a little tag there. Much like yes. the. It had a case of the Zenogar, I should say, where Zenogar was named way after the localization of the game, way before the localization of the game. And then, uh, yeah. So happens. Speaking of shirts, you know the blue oh. shirt that we uh, occasionally wear, that we wore at the event, uh, the All Hunters Eve has the same design here. But then that was a staff shirt, and then the Capcom store they made this one here. Uh, I like this one way better. <laughs> yeah. Like the colors, I think, are way better, and the design is much bigger. Which Good uh, material too. Who wouldn't want to get a huge cat face on a T-shirt? I mean, just why wouldn't you, right? 
I think I need hot drinks for this. But yeah, fantastic stuff. So, Stygians and Ogres on the menu today. Alright, why don't I go ahead and cut to the game. Yeah, let's We're here that. to play Monster Hunter after all, not look yeah. at some bald guy and some... Oh, we got the Capcom fighter. Oh, uh, yeah, there's God. a logo there too. Sorry guys, we're, we're... We're working on something fantastic for a visual revamp of this very stream. But until that is all done, yeah. we'll just recycle Capcom Fighter stuff. Yeah, little did you know, 3 Ultimate is actually a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> so There's yeah. actually an argument to make that that is the case. But I won't make it here. Please don't. This is not the place to talk to about fight. Monster Hunter. No, it's not a place to fight. It's monsters. Correct. Oh, so, 4 Ultimate. It's coming. Announced for the Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, unfortunately we don't we don't have a lot to talk about right now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, if you're curious about the game and you should be, uh, we're gonna have to ask you to be a little more patient. We're gonna have more information and more uh, you know assets, trailers, videos, movies, uh, yeah. I mean, screenshots, funny features that I'm gonna be heading. So they're probably not gonna be as funny as I think they would be. Uh, so we're gonna have all that, m more of that later on. So, okay, great. First thing I do is quest escalated quite quickly. Sorry. So, Craig, uh, can you do me a favor and turn yeah, the gameplay down on my ear a little bit? Oh, I think that's down for everybody, but maybe on the on the other machine over there. The uh, feedback. This one here. Ah, yes. Sorry, Man, guys. Things have changed. What are you, number two? I'm number two. Yeah, that's better for me. And now if people uh, want to give us the feedback, is the gameplay loud enough? Yeah, please let us know how's it, how's it sounding. Uh, it's all black magic to us. <laughs> Doesn't seem to matter how many years <laughs> you've done this. Oh man, we I got still the don't uh, understand how to live the tail has been cut already. Uh, oh, and Rathalex has been well launched. Done. <laughs> Sorry again. So yeah, who we got on the stream here right now? We got Shadow, uh, Shadow who's hunted with us before, I believe. And we got Redman, which is uh, uh, Red Stash's uh, screen name here on Three Ultimate. He did the laggy video with the Meet the Monsters. If you remember that. Claims to be an expert a tail cutter with his uh, switch axe. And yeah, uh, hunting with him a couple of times, I've noticed that the tails went out way quicker than than ever before. So if you want to learn how to cut tails, you should consult him. And we've got my old buddy Rathalex here. We used to play guitar together. We used to jam all the time. Now I play the hunting horn and he plays the greatsword. Oh. I haven't hunted the Stygians and Ogre in a long time. Oh. Ooh. You almost rolled right into that one. I know. You don't want to do that. Ow! I did Finally see that one. happened. Here's the trick. Oh. You sit underneath him so that way the when the dragon balls come after you, they hit him first. Oh, the other one's here. Poor thing, man. Poor dog. KO! Yeah, there you go. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. 
All done. So what do you have to say, Greg? Uh, good tail, excellent. <laughs> Why is your chair so low? Uh, we're not on camera, I guess. Huh? No, we're, we're not. not. Do you guys want to see, though? Do we have a picture in picture here? No, we don't yet. Man! We well have a picture of some Zenobar dragon hairs over here. Red Stash saying, we taught that puppy how to roll over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Pretty okay. pretty psyched about for you though. Let's all take a moment and just think about that online play. Oh yeah, on your 3DS. So like you go to a Starbucks or something, or mm -hmm. uh, uh, go to your local co coffee shop because it's probably better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do like Starbucks, but we won't deny the factor of. Having somebody make your coffee yeah. without a formula dictated by somebody else. Anyways, point is, you go there and they have free Wi-Fi, and you're like, "Oh, I could go on a quest while I wait for my cappuccino." You, you're what now? <laughs> you're Giga Pudding. Sorry. Got it. <laughs> That's better. So you get your Giga Pudding, sit down, crack open that 3DS. Not literally, of course. Yeah, don't crack it. Don't. But uh. But know, I mean, if you're excited about the sign quest. on and play with your friend Hank in Albuquerque. Oh man, Shadow didn't play need with it. Uh, play with the Capcom Unity guys. Yuri here. Rega man. We gonna do bombs. No. We'll have our copies. Yep. Whoa. Man, these guys. Oh man, I meant to hit all of them, but only hit one. That's what happens. You get your friends together in a clump and uh, just hit them with your hammer and send them all flying. You can do a cross country step. Or, I'm sorry, prance. Yep, cross country prancing guys. Whoa. That should be that should be a national event. Like prance across America day, you know? Yeah, I know, huh? Get so many street passes. So I'm excited we're doing this quest in the tundra because I can get like earth crystals after I'm done with this. But I'm not excited about the whole thing. Oh man, poor thing. We want Monster Hunter 4G in the West. You got it. Yes. Yeah, man. If I if I have the time and uh, and well, if it was a, a productive means of using my time, I would go back to every comment we ever got. Uh, asking for Monster Hunter 4 and reply to it, but chances are those people already read the, the Just, news. Yeah, reply in your face. <laughs> no, come on, Greg. You wanted something and now you got it. <laughs> Feel so bad about it. So we win. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if that's how ex exactly how it works. Oh yes! All those times. In my trap. All that time you wasted asking for a thing, only to get it. My gosh, how foolish. In the end. Too bad, right? Oh yeah. Feel the power of the hammer of Thor. So much thunder in this thing. But it's not called a hammer of Thor. Because we get sued. Although Thor is not... Can can we have like references to Thor as like the the Norse god and not the Marvel character? Uh huh. Can we? Uh, yeah. I oh yeah, no. There was that weapon in uh, Freedom Unite. Uh, Thor's dagger. It was a uh, Kirin. I mean, you know, Mar Marvel even had a Hercules. 
Really? I think so. Uh, oh my gosh. You can't, uh... No, there was a the Keating uh, weapon. There was a Thor, it was called Thor's Dagger. Speaking of Keating, let's not uh, talk about Keating. Could go for a Keating right now. Could be it. Uh huh. Ah, I will dodge that. Keating also means giraffe in Japanese. I know. I'll huh? have you know. It does not mean bearded unicorn. That's it, it, can, it, it can be two things. That's how I grew up, Greg. I grew up yeah. assuming that, and Monster Hunter just uh, fulfilled that. And when I was little, my mom used to tell me stories before I went to bed about the Keating and how he could hit it with the hammer in its head and break its horn. Right? Uh huh. <laughs> All right, while the guys go kill the Zenogre, I'm going to... Right, give me the Earth Crystals. Come on. Yes. All right. Uh, what don't I need here? We're playing this right now on the uh, Nintendo Wii U, and uh, but the game is also available on the Nintendo 3DS. And I'm doing the less exciting part of the hunt right now, which is gathering minerals so I can upgrade some of my weapons. A few more. All right. But I'll be there in just a second. So this is Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, for those of you who just tuned in right now. But we announced yesterday that Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate... Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate will be coming to the Nintendo 3DS later, uh, earlier next year, 2015. Which and gives you plenty of time to play this game, which just so happens to be on sale half off on a Nintendo eShop oh. if you're in North America. If you're in Europe, the sale is slightly different and slightly different timing. Uh, it'll be later this week. Starts on Friday. Uh, different price, but still very significant um, discount. So, and oh, you know, sorry. it's very cathartic for us to finally be able to announce this. But I do hope that some of you guys were able to sort of read between the lines. The fact that we've been streaming Monster Hunter every single week, sometimes multiple times a week for multiple and hours like, a week. We hire a new we community <laughs> guy in Europe. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like uh, we we probably wouldn't be doing all these things if we were thinking of retiring the brand or not actively thinking of doing something with it. So Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Quest is a success. We've got all these uh, dragon phage bugs. Cortexes, hair, more hair. Stitches and Ogre, everybody. One of the brand new monsters mm -hmm. in this game. What other brand new monster can we stream? Could do the delicious Rust Duramboros. Nope. The yeah, I don't like that either. What about the Steel Uragon? That, uh... What about the Ivory Leggy? Oh, yes! Steve I need some parts. Like I wish I could play. Huh? I need some parts. <laughs> you don't you don't wish we could play this quest that we're about to play. Hang on. Oh no, I promised we were gonna do the the event stage in Zenogre. Uh, to be slightly brutal. So we'll try that once, uh, and as soon as it f we fail, because we will, um, unless we beat it, but more likely than not, we will fail the quest, because it's brutal, like I said. Uh, then we, we move on to the Stygian Lagirchus. No. 
Rusted like Yakus. Ivory like Yakus. <laughs> When's Ivory laggy? Yes, yeah, soon. sweetheart I mean guild sweetheart <laughs> yeah she jumps right out of a Cracker Jack box what yeah I like they have the sailor oh yeah all right so we're gonna use this voucher thingy and I need a dragon resistance I think that's the deal right oh. yeah my dragon is minus three but most of all we need feline defender. So, how's everybody Monday? Everybody's Monday you know, going. Oh my gosh, uh, I didn't get that. I didn't get know, the skill. It's all right. <laughs> kind of a gray day. Although yesterday, <laughs> we had like an amazing day yesterday, like riding bikes and stuff, and enjoying the California scenery. And then we were driving home, and my girlfriend's visor on her car is I broken. Think she, they can't see. So okay, uh, I can switch the camera. Real quick, I okay. still um, don't stop me from talking with my <laughs> hands because they can't see me. <laughs> uh, her visor's broken, so she's like, "Ah, this. I, I could sure use that visor now. The sun's awfully bright this time of day." I'm just thinking, like, how how uh, spoiled are we? Like, the rest of the country is covered in snow. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, man, it's just too damn sunny here. California. There you go. I'm slightly inconvenienced. <laughs> <laughs> um. Then she puts on her sunglasses. Oh, problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if only the problem could be solved in yeah. the same manner by uh, by those folks in the northeast and all that. It's a one of kind. Yes, defender. So a quick trick here for those that just uh, were wondering what I did there. If you eat, you get a food s food skill, right? But uh, if you don't get exactly what you wanted, if there are some permanent ones, you can uh, go on a quest and then abandon and come back, or save your game and then like boot it back, like exit game and boot it up again, and that will cycle the. It will reset your options there, your status, so you can uh, eat again and get another food food skill. I'm having trouble saying food for some reason. I'm not hungry right now. Is there a correlation? I don't. I don't know. I figure there should be, right? Certainly. All right, Greg, I'm going to ask you another favor here. Mm -hmm. This time, you handle all commentary. Okay. Because I need to really focus on this quest. Okay. It's one of those quests. You guys ever see Major League 2? Where they have, like, the commentators, and one of them is, like, super talkative and animated, and the other is just kind of like a note taker. Huh? And then the, the, the former gets drunk and passes out, so the latter has to take care of all the commentary, and he's really bad. Mm. It's like... Fly ball. But you're not really bad. You're caught. <laughs> caught. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite thing in the whole movie. You're better than me at this. I'm not, well, I'm not better than that guy. What? No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> Major League Two, everybody. <laughs> Surprisingly humorous movie. As I remember from seeing it as a 10 year old, I don't know. It's pretty old now, I guess. You yeah, answer so that last question there, Greg. Where? When's Marvel 4? No, the previous one. Monster Hunter 4. Uh, what? 2015. 2015 early. 4 Ultimate. Coming to Western Shores. Wow. 
Also the east coast of the west. <laughs> also anywhere in the west. Including Australia, which is technically east. So. Yeah, that's... Huh. It's like, yeah, coming to the west. It's like, oh, wait, 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 is Germany getting it? <laughs> yeah, that, must, that must be annoying. You know, Gre Greenwich is the dividing point. And that's in England, right? Not Greenwich. Greenwich, yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, really? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I could almost swear right now. It's like, the one quest that I come in and I have no more slots to gather any items and I come in the secret area. Gosh. I I am angry right now. <sighs> Had to forego all that. <laughs> Seriously, Capcom. So you patch the game so I yeah. get my money back. I find it hard to believe any cats would just be hanging out at a volcano. Look at all uh, the like burning ash flying around. Like that would kill everything. But they don't mind. They have fur. They they have this system there which. Uh, uh, their circula circulatory system, uh -huh. circulation system. They pump, they pump blood faster, to go faster in through their veins, to either cool them down or mm. warm them up. Fact. That that makes sense, but I don't believe you. Well, they're there. Dubindo 2015. That's a hashtag now. Yep. Go with That's it, guys. That that is not election year. But By the way, let's, go. Uh, let's see. Trade GTA up there asking when Strider. I can actually confirm, guys, that the the new Strider game comes out in February. I don't have an exact date yet, but it will be February in the West, which is uh, also the case in Japan. Japan has a date. We don't have a date yet, but uh, you know, we've tried OK Cupid. That's <laughs> my little joke. Little online dating humor. Um, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> February is, in fact, the... Stop it, Greg. <laughs> I want to, but I can't. So look forward to that. That means it's, uh, basically within the month. I don't know the exact date, but there's not a lot of days in January left, so... There's even fewer days in February, total. Correct. So... Yep, February. And that's uh, $14.99 on PS3 and PS4 and Xbox 360 and Xbox One and PC. Like, go for it. Oh, man, I didn't get hit by that. Although I do feel a little weird talking about this on a Wii U stream. <laughs> it's okay. Dino Crisis 4 2014. I don't think, if there were to be a Dino Crisis 4, I don't think you'd want it to be out that soon. <laughs> because uh, that would mean that very little work was done. Any more news on Monster Hunter events at Capcom headquarters? I'm busy. Yuri's deep in thought here. Uh, I don't think we have any specific news. I would be shocked and appalled if we didn't do another one, though. And I think those are in the cards. But uh, no specific news for now. What do we think about those who bought the Japanese MH4? Uh, well, it takes resilience, unless you're Japanese, in which case it's normal. <laughs> uh, but I still say there's good reason to buy Fort Ultimate, which will have new stuff. And, of course, a whole vast audience of Western gamers. Mm -hmm. Or I can talk. What now? Uh, they were asking about Monster Hunter events at the office. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
I, I think, you know, if, if it's if the decision is left up to me, I will definitely have some soon. Uh, not anytime soon, but eventually. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we gotta time the th these things out so that so as to maximize their potential. So uh, can't promise anything as far as date or even a ballpark window right now. But yeah, like Greg said, they're definitely in the cards. These events get more and more elaborate each time, too. I'm hoping the next one will have a real live volcano. <laughs> you can't do this, Greg. And when you lose a tournament, we just toss you in. Yeah, I wanted to do one. Like, well, what do you guys think? Like, if I did one, there was just a tournament. You know. Ah! It was great at, at our at our uh, All Hunters Eve in October. We had a. Uh, a great tournament where people were getting super hyped up. It was, it was like watching Evo or something. Just like people screaming at the top of their lungs. It's like hard to believe this isn't really even a competitive game. Yeah. Wow. Well, but you can. I love. I love when people do that when they turn a, a non-competitive game into a competitive sport. You can make anything competitive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, and it's been done. Uh, the the competitive thing's been done in Japan too. You know. Uh, uh huh. When, as a matter of fact, uh, our announcement of Four Ultimate was a very peaceful. Oh no! It was a very uh, was a very peaceful waking up early and posting something on the internet. But in Japan, it was during a live event. They had uh, Monster and a Festa, and they actually streamed well, the last. Uh, they actually streamed it towards the end. And I got to watch it. Um, that's cool. And, uh, yeah, and it was cool. I mean, they had, like, a, you know, uh, they had a tournament set up as well. So. You got uh, people pontificating here on the possibility of a tiny G-rank Black Diablos. It seems to me that the Diablos' greatest weapon is not its tail, but its height. So, uh, if you if you knock that out of the equation, then it's not so bad. Oh, I knocked that, then hopper down. That's my opinion. Oh crap! Giving the Zenoger a taste of his own medicine here, or at least. No, I use the Skymerald to make this. A Stygian Skymerald. Oh, okay, okay, good. Well, there it is. You think the, the Stygian Zenogers and uh, the regular Zenogers are like... Are, are they like tight or are they completely... Un or is this like uh, a demon-possessed Zenoger? Is it like the, the girl in the Exorcist? It's more like a subspecies, you know? That's actually precisely what it is. So are they all like one tribe or like is the oh irony gosh, with the I I'm asking cuz I'm wondering if the irony is lost on a Stygian that they're being electrocuted cuz they don't use electric attacks but if they're like no they part of the same clan as the regular Zins then you think they'd still be like oh you know like still jerks. we've been the tables have been turned. No, I don't think uh, they hang out. You don't think they hang out? No. It's hard to picture monst monsters of any breed hanging out. Oh, great place to be tired, you jerk. Except maybe the Monsters, Inc. monsters. All right, get over here. Man, so many traps. Well, he killed two of us here. So next one is... Uh, He's gonna be angry now. Whoop! He didn't. I want to do a trap combo, trap, trap bomb combo over there, if possible. Oh, 
Oh, you big dumb monster. Woo! Well, that caught him, right? Hard to say. It did. I think it did. Come on, come on. Come on here, puppy puppy. Oh, that was a big bomb right there. Whoop! It's evasion plus that two. That definitely got him. Yeah, it's a good, uh... I like those odds. Can't believe how many traps this thing's fallen in, though. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Man, I missed all my attacks. Ooh. Tough thing about the volcano. Sometimes I can't tell when the floor is lighting up red with his uh, incoming thunder. You know? Mm -hmm. And this is the only Stygian Zenogar in the volcano. As far as the quest. Oh. My gosh. If you guys look again at that footage of uh from the four G from the four ultimate uh announcement, you'll see just in the the few clips we showed there really is a lot more uh going on because of the, the 
the verticality element they've added, where you can now climb all over stuff and jump off stuff onto monsters. Uh, and uh, that may not seem like a big deal when you hear it, but when you see the game in action, uh, it really play does it. change or play it. Yeah, like it really changes uh, the feel of it quite a bit. And then you go back to playing this, and like, which is still great. You just look at the maps, like, man, it's so flat. <laughs> it's like we're in Nebraska. Yes, the. That, that is a region in the in this game, right? Nebraska area. Yes. That's where you fight the Greg. Smoldering the the Nebraskidios. <laughs> Nebraska. And that's no good. Nebraska is good. Were you thinking of something else? No, I yeah. just had no clue of where to go with that. Nah. I'm not from this country, remember? I don't know what's in Nebraska. And it makes for great storytelling. You know, like uh, when you, you play some games, uh, you kind of like get stories out of them, like that are unique to your playthrough. Yeah. Like, you know, like you play like GTA or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of that because you'll like have these, these great epic moments where you like dive off a cliff onto the back of this thing and, you know, get the nail in the coffin strike just as everyone's about to faint. It's, you know, it's just, it feels very, uh, like... We're not allowed to use the F word during this quest, Craig. Feel? Faint. All oh, right. But yes. I said feel. You said faint. Just right. as somebody's about to faint. Is that the only F word I can't use? Because, oh boy. Well, you're supposed to be using the other one, but we can't do it in the stream anyways. Because this quest is brutal. So, ah! Oh. Greg's fault. Excuse Call me. It. No. <laughs> uh, it's all right, Greg. It's not your fault. More like, uh, stick it to ya, Zenogre. <laughs> huh? Well, that's just awful. It's all right, Red Stash. It's fine. Did you even cut the tail though? It's unacceptable. It's fine. No, it's fine. Really, it's fine. Go I don't think we're ready for another game yet. We're Still haven't ready. mastered this one. <laughs> yeah. So, alright. Uh, let's see. Should we try it again, or should we move on with our lives? I think you should take on one of those low rank Baroths uh, I've been hearing about. Greg, uh -huh. no, you've been hearing wrong. About what? the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody said something. Wasn't me. <laughs> I know. It is one of the last f remaining challenging quests uh, in the game, you know, after so many. Uh, you know, that I'll show you here the selection, right? So you go here, you have this all beefed up armor, and then you come here and you think like, okay, that those are pretty tough. But uh, you think like something like this is going to be bad or, you know, like that, like Nagakuga, Baryoth, Green Nagakuga, Sand Baryoth, and then, uh, you know, all these quests, they, they seem like very, very hard, and they are the first time you do them. Because mm -hmm. you're kind of like not expecting them. Uh, I remember opposites detract are, it was brutal, really, really bad. But uh, nothing really compares to the three event quests here. The Descent into Hades, Clashing Fists, uh, and Cruel King of the Sea. Because they're, they have way more health and if that wasn't enough, they hit way harder. So, and the Brachidius is always angry. When he gets out of anger mode and you hit him once, you could kick him and he gets angry again, which is not normal. Which brings me to the question, what monster would you make into a super monster quest like that? If you had the power to change the game this way. What would I do? What yeah. would I do what now? 
Greg, uh, the, yeah, the question, let's see here Greg's answer, and mm. then we'll move on to your answers in the community. What do you think, Greg? What was the question? If you could get any monster in the game and turn it into a super event quest monster. Meaning bigger? No, meaning like he hits way harder, and there's a lot more health. Don't say Baroth, please. Uh, well, <coughs> let's see. I mean, I, I'd love to see like a, a badass uh, Aptonoth, something like that. You know, or a Kelby, mm. like a humongous Kelby. <laughs> the king the that gives Kelby. you like the world's biggest Kelby horn. <laughs> the weapon that is just a Kelby so, horn. Yeah, the weapon is just a horn. <laughs> it's really big. It could be a hunting horn. Ah. That is a Kelby horn. Like, uh, what's that? Oh man, what's that? Uh, man, I'm now I'm so far. Is that the the big thing they use in the Australia or something? No, that's a didgeridoo. What is it called? A didgeridoo. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Didgeridoo. I can't. I don't know how to spell it, but I know that's what it is. It's just a bunch of D's and J's. Yeah. DJ. Okay, what am I doing? It's not actually the case. Super Kurupeko. I'm going to... Yeah. Ah, Super Kurupeko would have been great. Confirm my vote for Kelby. All right. Yeah, Greg's vote is Kelby. Oh, man. Ah, uh, sorry, Shadow. Thanks for the help. See you next time. All right, we got another uh, room open here. In our room. Help to you, Lobby 10. MH Mondays is the name. And we're eating some Tanzia chips and hunting some Stygians and Ogres. Okay, so we got some armor change here. Redman is now at Gold Rathian. Raphalex is still with that armor. Fine. No criticisms there. I was just pointing it out. What other answers do we got here? Mega Kutku, Super Savage Devil Joe, Lucinarga, permanently invisible. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Super Giggy. Uh, you mean Giggy Nox or the Giggy? Because, damn, don't have any more spider webs. Leave a message and I'll call you back, right? And Mr. Flair joined the room. You know those cat-shaped uh, hot pots they got there? <laughs> yeah, it would right. be horrific if they lifted the lid and it was like a giant severed cat head oh, just stewing. Greg, that would be awful. That's what I said. Oh. I said horrific. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. Come on, guys. Why would you want that to happen, Greg? Well, why is it shaped like a head? <coughs> I have no idea. Man, there's all these little details in the backgrounds you might not notice for the yeah. first 300 hours of play. <laughs> all those medicine bottles behind the, the sweetheart there. Hmm. What's yeah, in those I bottles? I don't know. Well, should I talk to her again so I can zoom in? Uh-huh. Yeah, can you read it, Greg? No help can there. Can you read the kanji? I think those middle two are Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored. Right there. Taken from the Misty Peaks. Ah, oh, Misty Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. That's. You think Misty Peaks is just a play on Mountain Dew? Uh, let's ask uh, lo localization. Next yeah. Time. What else we got? Is there like a Sierra Mist? Man, Sierra Mist is kind of a play on Misty Peaks too. Sierra Misty Peaks. I think that's more like what they were going for. Interesting. God, are all the maps derived from sodas? <laughs> Is there a root beer? Volcano. Delicious root beer? Coca-Cola. What else we got? Dr. Pepper. The island of Dr. Pepper. The island? Uh, deserted island of Dr. Island. Flooded forest, that's clearly a reference to uh, Fresca. <laughs> 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 I 
is a f reference for us f that I had some. I guess not. Just preparing a tweet here. Mr. Flair, you ready? What do we got here? Great sword as well. That would be good. Yeah, the variety of weapons. And I thought that everybody was going to bring thunder. But Redmond's got the switch axe over here. He's got no element. But I thought there was... Huh. Oh, it can be awakened into that. So, Mr. Flair here, again, also no weapon, but 1,400 attack. <laughs> and, uh, Rathalix has got 1,100 attack. However, wait. Oh, no. That's right. Rathalix has 1,200 attack and 700 lightning. And I have 1,378 with 460 lightning. Which is, uh, Stygians and Ogre's weakness. Wasn't uh, one of the other guys supposed to be tagging in? I don't know. Doesn't matter, right, Greg? Do you have Do you have a lot on your plate today? I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can I can spare the time if no one feels like showing up and honoring their promises. Honoring their promises. I think that's more important than showing up itself. Mm -hmm. What? In some ways, maybe they didn't get the text message. What text message? Like, well, like. The one I've been sending you that you never got. Yeah, <laughs> we found out this morning. Oh man, it was horrible. There were like month was it months? Did it go back months? No, just uh I think since like last week, early last week. But you know, multiple different events where he would like text me and I wasn't I getting the texted messages. Greg. And it would be like Hey, you wanna hang hey, out? Hey, you wanna yeah, or like can, can I get a ride this morning? Or like, <laughs> you know, like Um uh, Yeah. Can you, can you drive us to the emergency room? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that catastrophic. Like, damn, on. I must have looked like the world's biggest jerk. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. You didn't get any of those messages. I didn't get any of them. And I didn't check really. And then like later on, I was like, why? Why is he never responding? And then like, uh, not delivered. And uh -huh. then I go back to log and it's like, oh, not delivered, not delivered, not delivered, not delivered, not delivered. Gosh. It's uh. It's so he remains as good guy Greg. Yes. For I the mean purposes. The good guy Greg. He doesn't look high all the time like that meme. Mm. That's what you think. Good story, bro. <laughs> Actually means it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wrong dodge. Come on. Here he comes. Watch out, boy. They'll chew you up. Oh, we're starting with the trap already? The record though, my favorite meme is Sudden Clarity Clarence. Who's that? The guy is like at the concert and he's all bug eyed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's my favorite. Because I, I have those moments, you know? I had one recently. I'm trying to remember what it was. Huh. But, uh, oh, yeah, it's like. Do they just call Muppets Muppets because they're masterless puppets? Huh. That made sense to me at the time, but they have masters. I'm not sure why I <laughs> thought that. I guess in the movies, they they seem to move of their own accord. Right. And then there's Muppet Babies, which is just... I don't even know how they... Like, that's weird. It's a cartoon about puppets. You're too tall! But it's baby versions of puppets. How are these puppets having babies? And why are there babies cartoons? God. And why aren't the puppets parenting these Muppets? These Muppet babies. Like, they all, they're all they all overseen by this one human nanny. Or at least, you have to assume she's human. You never see her from, like, above the knee. Oh, I dodged those! Big jerk. Oh, man, I missed. 
Muppets are Muppets because of their mouth puppets. What does that mean? Because you're... All puppets have mouths, don't they? No, because you move the mouth as the main piece. But there are... No, because that... I mean, there are... Like, sock puppets are that way. So... Uh, I'm sure you don't want to call them suckets. <laughs> well, I'm, sa <laughs> I'm saying, why are they not also Muppets? Because they don't... <laughs> They're too late for the trademark? No, come on. <laughs> Who was too late? The you suckers. <laughs> <laughs> it would be suppets, first of all. But they, they would have, well, sock. Which is like some old timey way to say suck it. <laughs> suppet, madam. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if you're gonna use the S and your main word is sock. Mm hmm. You're well, about to have sockets, that. which is already also a word. They were too late for no, the trademark. No, but limits. look, I'm trying to play on the word Muppets, puppets, right? Right. But ah, gosh, why am I explaining to you and fighting decisions and all this? I'm saying, uh, I'm saying, the mouth thing is not unique to Muppets. I know. <sighs> It was weird because that, like, at the time, I was like, "Oh my god!" I like popped out of bed. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> I like popped up great. in bed. I was like, "They're masterless puppets!" And then the mo and, like the next morning, I woke up. I was like, "Wait a minute, they have masters." <laughs> yeah. But I was thinking of like uh, the animatronic, uh, you know, like I, I guess in some of Jim Henson's movies, he had animatronic uh, things like. Oh the, my gosh, those, those Ninja Turtles have some of that going on, or is that people in suits? What? Ninja Turtles in the movies. Uh, what happened here? I'm sorry. Could be marionette plus puppet, but isn't a marionette already a type of puppet? All right. Mr. Player, no! Oh man, I'm almost done here too. Goodbye, cruel world. There are monster puppets, Greg. But, like, what's monstrous are... about a frog or a pig? Or a Fozzie? I love Fozzie, he's my fave. You know, Monster Hunter has boogies, so. Of course, I have a dragon flight. Get out of my back. Whoa. You're just tuning in, we're talking about puppets? <laughs> but we're streaming Monster Hunter. Yeah, it's funny how that works out. <laughs> yeah, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate here, but we just announced Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate coming early next year to Nintendo 3DS. Oh, gosh. In the Western nations, which includes nations actually in the Eastern Hemisphere. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Gosh. Sorry, I was talking to Zenogre, not you, Greg. That's fine. I hope you know that. Oh my gosh, are you serious, dude? Why and how do you sharpen a hammer? This has come up in the chat. Because it's the game, all right? So you have to understand that the word sharpen is, is a translation of a, of a word with a broader... Uh, so what, what uh, does it say in the Japanese? Word? It could be translated as whittle. Whittle. Like to whittle your shillelagh. In battle, uh, so I think uh, I mean I don't know what you would do with something that looks like this. Wait, it's clearly made out of the leathery head of a, a thing. What is that made out of? Is made that of a, uh, as your it's made of originally Zenoga parts, and then last thing was leggy. 
Got it. Uh, Abyssal laggy. Yeah. It's all. Uh, yeah. Oh man. It's all a little bit nebulous. Look at him summoning all the bugs. The dragon bugs. Dragon phage bugs. Come here, you stupid dog. But you figure, you know, your hammer, it gets like marred as you bash it into uneven surfaces. So you're kind of polishing that down. You know what I mean? You have to like buff out. You're buffing it is what you're doing. Making sure it's shiny. Uh -huh. That's the Although uh, why you would want to do that, I guess I don't know. So you want the purple sharpness. See the gauge on the top left over there? The the little glowing knife that is glowing purple. It's a uh, purple sharpness. It's really good for you. Mm -hmm. It means it's like a really smooth surface. Yeah. It means you can cut through anything. Except his tail. Okay, okay. Oh no, I just lost some trouble. I'll give you this. The Stigens and Ogre is a big jerk. I mean, but you look at this hammer. I don't know how you sharpen something made out of skin. But it's clearly got pointy yeah, yeah. edges. So maybe they do keep it sharp. I think the lesson here is that we should obey the rules of the game. Mm -hmm. So Blade Master weapons, which includes the hammer and the hunting horn, which are cause blunt impact damage, mm -hmm. have this thing where we, can sh we have to sharpen them to uh, keep them uh, doing the full damage, or in this case, in the case of purple sharpness, yes. uh, more than 100% damage, uh, according to like the damage formulas. Uh, so it's white sharpness. So the idea is that you'll be doing that in order to keep the uh, keep the maximum damage. It just so happens that sharpening a hammer does not make sense in the real world, but it makes sense in the game world. So we can all go home. With that, I'm going to tag out with Brelston, who has just appeared. Out a wild there. Brelston emerges. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're still on. I'm just leaving. Yes. Bye, Greg. Thanks for all the help. Ah. Oh. Uh. The sweaty ears of Gregaman. <laughs> <laughs> we all we all sweat in our ears. It's all it's totally natural. Um, this is your what the hell game is this? This is not your average Zenoger. He does look big. He's the event quest one. I see. The one that's that hurts a lot when he touches you, when he sneezes. When he thinks about you, it hurts. Ah, how's it going, Brett? Uh, good. I was looking uh, earlier today at uh, Gaijin Hunter on Tumblr. Oh, yeah. Um, posts a lot of good, uh, now actually relevant Monster Hunter 4 uh, uh, to all y'all relevant because it will uh, obviously influence some stuff for 4 Ultimate. Um, oh, yeah. Um, he's got a good Tumblr of just like feelings on uh, various weapons they imported the game. Oh, he lives in Japan. Uh, well, then he did not import the game. Uh, makes more sense. Uh, but just saying uh, that Zenogre in general uh, is a great kind of monster to learn Practice, the right? learn the ropes of your weapon because his tells are all really big. Once you know Yuri, uh, what he's doing, like that. Sorry. Uh, you won't, you know, walk into the hits like that. I, I was telling Greg <laughs> this earlier that the volcano has already like this reddish surface, so I True. can't really tell sometimes when he's summoning. Oh lightning. yeah. And why the hell do we have four traps in a row? That is a here? lot of traps. Oh, um. cause the Zenogre's tired, so we're gonna capitalize on that. Oh, okay. But he's um in the lava. He's taking a sweet time. He's in the lava. Oh, there you go. Big idiot. 
There you go. Um, but yeah, he was just saying uh, in general, yeah, a lot of the Zenogre, like when he does the, the backflip and the power up, and just pretty much all of his moves have a lot of uh, you know tells, and uh, yeah. it's easy to go in and learn what what each move uh, of the weapon you chose, like ha how long it takes to get one of those attacks out, how the recovery period is, when you can cancel some frames and save some time that way. Um, best combos. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just a good monster. It's also just a cool monster to fight because those moves, despite the big tells, are really fun. Oh, who's who looks ridiculous now? Whack. Yeah, when I practiced, like, the, the Lance, it was mostly an ogre fights. But also because I wanted this Zenogre Lance. I was like, why not practice this? It was regular Zenogre, it was not stitching. Oh, oh he's not having it. Yeah, but he's gonna have a trap. Oh, there are two traps. Haha. -ha. Whoa, man, big whack. I broke he's out of that quick. He's been in traps already. He's been through traps. He knows what, how they feel like. Oh boy. Sharpen that hammer. Yeah, that's exactly what we were talking about yeah. earlier. Uh, Have there been any feints or no? Two. Oh dear. All right, I'll stop talking. Then. But as I told Greg earlier, I'm not allowed to use the F word here in this quest. It's true. Faint. Oh boy. I've got my dust of life uh, ready here on the item. Oh man, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna use it uh, if I can only get up fast enough. Renopos, get out of the way! Oh man! <laughs> Gosh, this fire! So stupid. I guess I'd rather take the fire hit than. Uh... Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Way. Uh, saying uh, Link Red saying the game letting you put multiple traps in multiplayer is rather broken. Well, the thing is they'll break out of them quicker each time. Yeah, they'll break out of quicker, and if you put them close to each other, they'll he'll f fall on both of them at the same time. So it counts as being trapped once, but uh, you've taken up two traps. They they break at the same time. If you put the traps too close to each other, and he falls like right between them. Yeah, there's um, definitely just a point where the the ROI of, of uh, putting a trap down is not worth it. Yeah. Like you could probably yes put them down just in a row, but I mean that that after that like work. after about two you're really not getting much use out of it. And that what's guaranteeing that he'll fall on both of them? You know? Like he might uh, you know dodge the other one and dance around it for the rest of the quest, as sometimes monsters do. And the other thing is, uh, with this guy, it does not apply as much, but in general, like, monsters, ev like, after they get hit, a lot of times they'll get angry. That means he'll, they'll get out of traps faster. As an ogre, there's a different mechanic of him being charged up right. and then angry. And then but other monsters can just break the trap yeah. like, without, like without, it. without being in it, like an Ignactor flying around. or Yeah. Yeah, like uh, Ignactor, Diablos, if they... If they Come down from underground, under your trap. They'll break them right away. So, definitely has the potential to, you know, kind of e exploit, but it really is typically balanced in a way that won't really yeah. let you exploit it too much. Uh, all my 500 or so hours playing, I've never seen people exploit traps the way they do other mechanics. Um, Ooh, nice! Broke a little piece off. Get away! Get away! Get away! Out of my hair. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good. Oh. Ah, I got feline defender over here. So I was able to survive that without taking a lot of damage. Is this a Plesioth? 
uh, hammer? Or? No, uh, Abyssal Laggy. Oh, okay. Flesh Elf looks exactly like Laggy, uh, Flesh Elf head. That's what I thought, and I was like, well, that's not right, because that doesn't look like his dumb head. <laughs> See how he jumped over the trap now? Pulling the arc line. Oh, here he Sorry, Poor he's form. Tired. Poor etiquette, please. Etiquette? Now he's, oh, there you go. See how he came off of this trap a lot faster than... Wow. Defender. I just realized this is the uh, first time I haven't seen a arena quest on the stream in a while. <laughs> it's almost always. Yeah, I was telling everybody like uh, how these quests, end game quests here, uh, after you do them uh, a long time, you know, when there's only one monster at a time, they, they're not as difficult as they seem. Like first time, yeah, they're brutal. You know, but then uh, the only ones that remain sort of brutal are these. And then when you have an arena quest that is like two monsters at the same time, right. that gets pretty nasty. So I think there's a reason why we tend to gravitate towards those, you know? They, somebody else picks a quest, they generally out to get me. So they want to they wanna make me look bad on the stream here. I see. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, again with the fire. <laughs> so what I got? We got hammer, two great swords, and a switch axe. Yep. Got a red stash, if you uh, remember the laggy vi video. Meet the monsters. Yep. That's him on the... Switch axe over there, Raphalex on the greatsword, and Mr. Flare also on the greatsword. And Zenobra is fully charged up already. And here comes that Renoplos. <laughs> nope. Renoplos. Whack. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I got hit there. Oh, man. Help me. <laughs> People. Oh, oh dear. Oh god. Oh, oh this is it. Oh. Man. Well, you you called it before uh <sighs> Is there one that's picture in picture? No, there isn't. No. No, there's HD camera. There's oh, a Capcom man. Fighters one if you want. Yeah, we can do the uh Capcom Fighters picture in picture if you there don't. You go. Yeah, that's we'll fine. we'll do one of these really quick. Hey, it's Friday. Not Monster Hunter Monday. <laughs> Free shout out to Challenge Capcom Fridays on yeah. Capcom Fighters. Um, so close, Yuri. So close. Very close. We I actually just time. got here. So. No, no, I'm not out. Oh. Turn the camera is on. Do we know yeah. we're doing this yet? Are we? People are watching. No. The cameras. Do we know we're giving these away yet? For me. Hi. Hi. No, they can't. Hi, I'm Chris from Capcom Community. In honor of the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate announcement, Kaori has decided to give you this straight from Japan. Wow, what is so this? So open it up. <laughs> it's, open. It's, uh, it's a blind box. Cause it's a trap. It's one of those awesome blind box uh, Monster Hunter things. And it, it is what? red. Oh, sweet. Uh, but what's cool is they've got like little, it's almost like stained glass in them. Oh, uh, my gosh. Stained glass, so it feels really classy. It doesn't. Oh, wow. It doesn't I quite. Know, huh? uh, it doesn't <laughs> quite come up. Uh, ooh. Wow! Thank you. Or whatever. Hey, Close enough. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations to you all, which will be getting the. <laughs> I don't. I, huh? Really yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Chris just came here to make fun of us, but he did give us a keychain. So yeah, we were gonna look <laughs> into. Uh, we're gonna look into seeing if we can get some a little later in the year. For oh yeah, uh, that's right. Okay. Because you can expect us to take four ultimate around the country. Um, mm. Uh, a little later in the year. Um, that's kind of the, uh, the the you know two sides of the coin here is we got to announce alongside Japan, but um, but we we knew know, Japan, it wasn't coming until later. Yeah, Japan announced like that's in development, so I mean it, that means it's not coming to Japan until later this year, which means it's going to be a little after that for us. 
but that means we can at least talk about it this year and show you stuff and show you what's being added and all the features that uh, Riozo san talked about in the video. Yeah. Meanwhile, you guys are upset because you lost and uh, I, we stomping. Upset, and yeah. um, sadly, those keychains are not in the Capcom store yet, um, but we're trying to imagine we'll look into uh, trying to get some cool stuff to give away uh, on CapcomUnity.com. And I mean, I don't, I don't know if our pl we don't know our plans yet because again, this is all super early. Um, this is more just so you guys. Super fans watching the streams and on Unity and Monster Hunter forums every day uh, can be put at ease and knowing, yes, it is in fact coming. Yeah. It's going to be a while. But now you don't have to ask for six months, is it coming, is it coming? <laughs> the answer is yes. It's just not done. <laughs> um, but with that comes, you know, with 3 Ultimate, we had a lot of great events. We did uh, three or four three, uh, events well, in the office that were we huge. We did two small ones and three big ones. Okay. Two small ones before launch and then three big ones after That's launch. right. Yeah, three huge ones uh, with a tent out in the parking oh lot. Gosh, uh, those are so great. Like three, four hundred people, I think, by the end. Two, three, four hundred, somewhere in there. Hundreds. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, no Not promising the same thing, but it stands to reason. You can yeah, expect a similar thing. We talked about it earlier, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely in the back of our heads. Uh, yeah. Like Brett just said, it's kind of early to be to be pressing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never early to be pressing. Let me let me join this. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of early to be uh, doing all these things, like the, you know. Talking about giveaways, talking about uh, you know events and all that, but the time will come. Yep. Just put in your calendar, 2015, early 2015, and now go into that chamber that freezes you until then. Set the timer. Right? <laughs> Skip a whole year. Uh, let's try this Ivory Laggy. They, they seem to be excited about that one. Someone saying, do hard-hitting lineup or mountain in, mountain in the desert next? Mm. Hard-hitting lineup. Well, we uh, just talked about it in the chat here. I think we're going to do oh, Ivory Laggy. Okay. Uh, Very good. We're gonna do the ivory laggy then. Uh, we got one more, one more slot open for a ridiculous ivory like Yekrus. Who's in? Who's in? Uh, let's see. What do I? Firelands. Yeah, yeah, we're in uh, the Wii U version. Help, help D Lobby 10 if you're watching and uh, want to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Help D Lobby 10. Want to play any. Uh, I think we still have the one slot open. Yeah, yeah. The one slot just opened up. Hurry. Apocalypso is uh, a solid, solid hunting horn to take uh, into battle with laggies. I want to see if I could bring a good lance, but. Got the Sky Sunderer. I oh, like a good fire one. Oh well, let me see if I have the ability to make one. Mm. Nope. Need a Cortex. Those aren't hard to get though. <sighs> just one? No, just one. Yeah, how do I. I think I used my other cor I had like tons of cortex and lashes and I used them for something else. It's pretty yeah. cool lance. Yeah. Maybe I can make Megiddo Spire. Oh, there's more fire. Yeah, let me make this one real quick. Twelve hundred? Nation. What? 120,000. Okay, 120. Yeah, that makes 
Makes more sense. Time to sell some pe ridiculous pieces of. Uh, and I was selling like a uh, Devil Joe pieces. I sold like twenty shards, and I. <laughs> Look at this. It's like I never used any of it. Yeah, I never used. Uh, it. I already have the money. <laughs> yeah, I already had it like three seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've often contemplated just like clearing it all out and just to see how much I'd end up with, and then not oh. s and then not saving. Uh, yeah, and then just saving by accident. Yeah, <laughs> just saving by accident. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're, again, if you're watching uh, Help D Lobby 10 in the Wii U version of 3 Ultimate, have a spot oh open. Oh, man, I can upgrade even more. Ooh. Look at that purple. Wow, oh that is a lot of purple. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This Ivory Laggy is going to see purple. It's going to see red and purple. Uh, Rock Boulder Shoulder says, dang, I took too long to get in. Did, did we get a fourth? Yeah, we got the fourth. Oh, sorry. I rescind my earlier offer to come in. It was folly. Oh, is 200,000 enough? Yeah, it was like 145. Oh. So is this still enough? Uh, yes, <laughs> uh, 145 is <laughs> less than 200. <laughs> All right, just just trying to be funny. All right, let's go. Let's go. There's a hearty debate about water battles in 3 Ultimate. I think some people are happy to see them go in 4 Ultimate. Some people will miss them dearly. Yeah, there's uh, people saying that it wasn't too bad. I, I'm kind of, uh, I, I, feel, I feel the side that that's ain't, gonna fur, miss him? ain't fur it but again it. But at the same time, uh, I don't know. I, it took me a while. It probably took me somewhere in the until the fifty or sixty hours really? area where I felt completely comfortable. Where like at this point, like I don't feel like there's anything about controls or camera or anything. Oh like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I don't even. The more have, you play, the more comfortable you get. It. That's yeah, there's just something like it. It just kind of clicked, and I'm like, oh, I got it. This, the big one was when you were like, oh, do you know you can hold B and just go up and down. And, yeah, like, yeah. It doesn't say that anywhere. So you didn't try until uh, you get told that, and then I was like, oh, well, that really helped. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of cool to have each one have bits to it, like each number introduce and take mm. away things, like fours, uh, you know, like in the video that we have, uh, the verticality of the environments and, right, and right, things yeah. like that. Like that's definitely <coughs> very different feel from three. And this is another point, yet another thing that I can uh, pick this game up or series and sort of compare it to Street Fighter. Yep. And say like, oh, Street Fighter 3 had parry. Yeah. Street Fighter 4 has focus attack. You know? So uh, that that leaves each game with their uniqueness. Yep. You know? Makes it so that it lasts forever. It's literally. True. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it'll be good, you know, like, I imagine, like, a year and a half from now, we'll be doing our Monster in the Mondays, and it's going to be prim primarily, like, 4 Ultimate, and then, like, all of a sudden, it's like, hey, we're throwing it back, we're going to do a month of 3 Ultimate, or whatever, you know? Yeah. Uh, Everybody's got to remember how to swim again. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Redmond? Come on. Redmond. You're, you're holding up the stream, buddy. Come on, Red Stash. Uh, there you I'll go. miss Laggy, but I'll happily say screw you to Goblin Cideus. Cideus. Yeah. Laggy is one of the most fun fights. Uh, I do like the Laggy. Not necessarily underwater, but... And, and in particular, I, I like this... Uh, the Ivory Laggy is a lot laggy. of fun, yeah. Because he does but both. The, but the Abyssal Laggy is... That's cool. I, I think that is just super cool. Wait, are we ready? Oh, that's a big corn on the cob? Yep. It's <laughs> a gun lance. And it goes like... I had never seen that before. <laughs> Whatever. It makes some weird noises. You need the corn, uh, it's called the corn popper. That's great. I think if you awaken, I forgot to check if he had an awaken. Oh my gosh. Dude had a, a unlucky cat skill. Alright, come here. So the ivory laggy is. Uh More, oh, very good. Whack. Wow, the chip damage that that took, huh? Jeez. Wait, 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 why am I not dodging? What the hell? Oh. I'm 
mean, just occasionally seeing his gums flap on the screen. Uh. Ah. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, this is a big laggy. Do you hear the the? How's the corn pop? Kinda, yeah. I hear definitely hear some goofy like cartoon <laughs> style, style noise. Ooh, stuffed. Get dunked, laggy. Oh, oh my gosh, that was one hit. I was gonna. Oh boy. Oh, he ain't done. Get away, get away. Oh! Gosh. I do love that uh, <laughs> dash, and then he kind of slides in. Yeah, he's got a slippery belly. So the ivory laggy tends to stay on lead a little more than the regular laggy. Uh, but he has this cool attack. That was the EX version? Yes. So you can see like... Whoa. Oh, kill. Got that coin on the cob. It's so great. Whoa. Zone. Just something about the laggy's animations that just feel like so close to like a giant, like really starts to approximate the feeling of an actual living creature. Just a lot of little, where the neck will move or when he does the flip, uh, you know, like jaw swipe that turns into a tail smack. All that yeah. move there. Just looks, oh, it's so nice. This looks good. The laggy is indeed beautifully animated. Oh man, just lost a lot of pieces. Have some corn. <laughs> Delicious corn. Oh, that caught me from behind. Oh man. And the shield is a straw hat. Yeah, I was, I was trying to see what it was. Oh boy. Leave me alone. EX. So what's this one's deal? Is this uh, is just? Oh, this is the event one. So he's just extra crazy. Oh, yeah, Ex he's super strong and he has he's got a lot of health. Yeah, it's one of those Ugh. crazy quests. Uh, it gives you a crazy weapon at the end too. So hang on, guys, I gotta get some earth crystals. Yeah. There already know the situation. Ah, oh, I forgot. I, yeah, I didn't forget it. I put it away because we can't even pretend to get earth yeah. crystals. I could. could. Oh my gosh! Weapon with priest. 
like I don't even have all that purple sharpness. Oh boy. Man, this this uh this room six on Mogo Woods. This reminds me of like a year ago when we first got like the preview like ROMs of three yeah, ultimate. Yeah. And I remember playing it and just like, alright, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get into this man. <laughs> and just one of the early quests in the story mode of like coming in here to get like jaggy pieces or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I, I remember being in this zone. It's just kind of weird to see that full circle like back here with this insanely powerful uh, ivory laggy, <laughs> but back yeah. in, back in the same area. Kettle blower. Oh yeah, the the cat one, right? Oh, gosh, how did he dodge? Okay, this is it for me. Thank actually, you. actually, yeah. If you uh, if you like what you see, um, you just posted a story on Unity that uh, Three Ultimate is in fact fifty percent off. Half off on the eShop, so you can stop whatever you're doing and download it now. You clearly have internet access. Yeah. Um, so it's tw 20 bucks on both? Is that yeah, how it works? Wii U and 3DS. Wii U 3DS. We are streaming the 3D, uh, the Wii, Wii U version presently. Um, the saves talk to each other. You can transfer them freely back and forth. Um, you could effectively buy both versions and be able to play on your TV at home and on a 3DS on the go. Yeah. Which is what we do. Yep. It is what we do quite often. Um, or if you just uh, have a system of choice, you can buy uh, just one of them. Uh, I think it's on sale to what, February 2nd or? 3rd. 3rd. So about a week. 9 a.m. though, so yeah. if, you, if you wake up too late on February 3rd, don't come complain. Yeah. <laughs> you, had a, you had a week. They and, can and think about this, right? So if you're, if you're in, a, in a region where, you know, snowstorm is hitting hard yeah. you can uh, you know shovel the snow out of front of somebody's house and <laughs> get get 20 bucks get and 20 bucks oh boy what a mistake uh. yeah the Wii U and 3DS versions can play locally so uh, you can if one of you has a 3DS and the other has a Wii U you can locally sync up and play yeah. But only the Wii U version can play online. online. However, you can use the Wii U yeah. as a proxy for your 3DS. So uh, you could use one Wii U to take one 3DS online. Yes. Yeah. It's still one player going online only. And you don't need the Wii U copy of the game right. to do that. So, so if you have, yeah, if you have a Wii U and you have a 3DS and you would rather just own the 3DS version but want to play it online, you can. Yeah. But the uh, the news about the 4 Ultimate though is that 4 Ultimate can go online on the 3DS without, uh, without needing a Wii U. So that's one of our biggest selling points for 4 Ultimate. No. So. But if you want to start getting some practice, you know, get some friends into it, 3 Ultimate is here and is on sale. Yeah, Roar goes wow, far. Nice. nice. Next who, who are you attacking? Who? He's oh. just showing off. He's just showing, like, he's strutting his stuff. It's like, look at me. Oh, yeah. All right, what was the Rick and Morty thing? I'm Mr. Meep. <laughs> Mr. Meep, look at me. <laughs> oh man, so good. All right, he unleashed all the charge. Get out! Get away! Get away! It's the X. No, it was not. All right, here he goes. The back is blowing. It's dangerous. I'm surprised that tail hasn't come off yet. With all these. Oh uh, no! It tail's gonna take a long time to come off too. All these cutting weapons. The uh, 
corn is really adding, is really detracting from the drama of the situation. <laughs> uh, well, the corn happens to have a uh, really good slime damage. If really? You have, if you have awakened. Oh, I see. I think. Am I correct, guys? I mean, I'm not hating on the corn. I think that's funny, but uh, it is a great, it is a great gag weapon. It's just funny with this dramatic music and. Everybody fighting for dear life, and then here comes this giant, like, seven-foot pile of corn. Uh, apparently doing a great job of <laughs> just hitting a laser crocodile, a lightning crocodile in the face. Let's go with ra laser crocodile. Well, it's more of a nectar laser fish, or, you know, oh, like yeah, laser lizard good. fish thing. I imagine, uh... All right, guys, can we talk about Monster Hunter 3,000 years in the future? Like, uh, of in-game time, like uh, somebody, like this evil corporation gets the Ignactor frame <laughs> and then turns that into a la actual lasers. And <laughs> totally see that uh, happening in a like, fan fiction. Could Come be on. like the Shinra Corporation in Mako. Instead of Mako, it's Ignactor. All of you who write fan fiction, get on that, please. Gentlemen, behold, corn. Behold! Oh boy, why nice. does my hit have to bounce? Oh, I have bombs too. Oh, missed opportunity. I should go back and back to this thing. Missed opportunity section. Oh, that was missed miss connection. Womp. Who are you? Womp. Uh, bro, so you're a big uh, video game music guy. No. What's your favorite theme in Monster Hunter? Uh, I don't know actually. I actually, uh, the thing I'd probably want to listen to the most is just the um, like the Moga Village kind of just like soothing slow version of the theme that plays. Oh yeah. Because there's like two. There's like one I think when the when the Argosi captain. when the Argosi is in yeah. it plays the. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sort of uh, merchanty music, whereas I think normally it's just kind of slower. It reminds me a lot of Chrono, right. Chrono Cross. Oh, okay. Uh, I think the oh, town is. Off. There you go. I think the town is Goldove in Chrono Cross. There's a great. Uh, I think when you're in the alternate world in Chrono Cross. Uh, great soundtrack by Yasunori Mitsuda. Oh. Uh, that's so that so you so you like the, the Moga Village? Right? Yeah, I think that's probably my favorite. I mean, a lot of the the battle music's are great, but. Oh boy. Took that in the face. Oh man. man. Could be playing basketball with this. I can say he's, uh, he's too bad it's not like a Ganondorf fight. You can poke them and send them back at him. <laughs> Getting this tug of war back and forth. That would have been great. I think you'd definitely see that in Monster Hunter 3000. Like sending back fireballs back to the monsters. In that fan fiction of yours that you're writing. So, but battle, if you were to pick a battle theme, what would it be? I don't know. I have trouble, like, remembering them off the top of my head. Because usually when I'm well, when I'm hearing one, especially in Monster Hunter, all I can think is the monster. Yeah. So I'm, I, I can't really think of a battle theme off the top of my head. Because some of them are P, right? It's more... Because yeah, I think you said the Devil Joe was your favorite, right? As far as no, theme? No, no, I didn't say that. That was somebody. Although somebody, I think by saying that it's not my favorite, I'm probably making somebody on the internet upset. But no, Devil Joe's not my favorite. I think my favorite battle theme... Uh, I guess it's kind of hard because, you know, the... Oh, somebody said the Camellia's theme. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh no. No thank you. Uh the uh Zenogre theme is good. So I like the Young Garuga theme and the Nagakuga theme are definitely two of my favorites. But it's kinda hard to say because like Young Garuga is also my favorite monster, so you can 
you can tell there that you know there's there's a connection between the monsters and their theme when they have a specific theme. As for area, favorite theme of uh, area in this game is the tundra. Oh yeah, someone. I uh, really like those crazy piano. Yeah, uh, tundra might be oh my might gosh, be so good. I do like that one a lot. Uh. Violence saying, uh, I like the very off Tundra fight music the most, yeah. but Joe and Zen are good too. Um, someone said the Nargakuga. Bleach Dink says T Grex theme. T Grex theme is pretty good. Necro Alucard, I love the <gasps> Fatalis. He's leaping! He's leaping! Oh, nice. Uh, I don't have a trap anymore. I have Super flashbacks. Rajang. Rajang theme is kind of good. I don't, I don't like, I don't like the theme itself very much. But are we trapping? We're trapping, right? There you go. Aha! Oh, nice. Success. Quest clear, yo's. Very nice. Good job. Let's say thanks. Also sorry. Uh, what else do I say? Oh, it's, oh, oh, shooting shooting at the sky with the corn popper. So <laughs> Man, that's so great. <laughs> Look at that. So <laughs> a, a marvel what? of a marvel of science. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew pew. Yeah, I'll turn this game up for a second. Oh man. Oh, it's fine. It's covering you're covering the corn. It's too late. I want to reduce the soundtrack. No. The guy who pops up a little bit. <laughs> That's great. An actual chamber for kernels to pop out. <laughs> that is ridic. Super ridiculous. One could say he's popping off. Ah. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Da -da -da -da. Wow, the that was a pretty big ivory laggy. Yeah, I was gonna say it silver seems... crown. Yeah. Ooh, I do love the the Kushala Daora theme. Man, that's so great. Um, if you do some research, you'll find out that you'll be fighting him again next year. Uh, but yes, I did not give away a monster that is in four ultimate. <laughs> I think I just did. Oh yeah. Yeah. The Kushala Daughter. He's in four. Yeah. So, with that... I mean, that's what's fun about uh, getting getting Ultimate, is even everything that's on the internet now, if you want to dig and look up four, it's like, yeah. you still don't know what's in four Ultimate. Yeah, you can know what is in four, but you cannot know what is in four Ultimate. So that'll be cool. Uh, cool so yeah. I guess we'll come back on Kamamura. All right. Uh, oh, also... Uh, yeah, real quick. Nope. I guess we're not we're ready. We're not lying. See, th this is what's happening. Yeah, there you go. That's yes. what's happening. There you go. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy. We'll have a we'll be talking to you a lot more about it throughout the year, obviously. But uh, yes. this is uh, just a nice little afterglow of the announcement yesterday, being able yeah, to confirm that it is in fact coming uh, 3DS next year. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, we will resume mm -hmm. prancing. Uh, in the meantime, I think we got we wrapping up because it's five. We're wrapping up because it's five. All right. Sorry. Well, this is the. Uh, weekly farewell prance, I believe. Yeah, we do. We were just waiting for the other guys. Come on, don't disappoint me. Everybody, get that corn over there here. You go. Yeah, look <laughs> at that. Look at that corn. Yeah, <laughs> this is my. I don't use gun lance, but that's amazing. If I did, I would be. I would be. I think. I think you should pick up the gun lance just for that. Wow, look at that skull helmet too, on Mr. Oh, yeah. Flare. Wow. Yeah. This is what I get for sticking to hunting horns. <laughs> oh. It, it's But uh, we'll be back uh, next Monday, and I believe we're gonna try to ma maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do some streaming of uh, Monster Hunter a little bit more this week. We'll yeah, we'll, we'll, see. we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, um, let's a, just say it's a good time. let's just say hypothetically clear some time, maybe sometime, maybe the end of this week, if you want to yeah. play some Monster Hunter. I know we promised that last week that it was yeah. today, but uh, some misscheduling happened. So uh, yeah. So we have to. 
Yeah, we had to move things around, but the game is on sale. Uh, yes. 3DS and Wii U versions of Half the Ultimate off. on sale. 20 bucks, both both games. In Europe, off. the sale is going to be on Friday, though. So. Yep. But uh, similarly, I think it's a 40% discount 40 for, uh, for Still a very good discount. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's our stream for today. I feel like my chair is slightly... It is slightly lower. Slightly this lower. was way higher, though. Yeah, this I'll just like come down all the way. Like, yeah. There we go. There you go. This is great. So you kind of look goofy. Right? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, we'll be back... Uh, well, every Monday, but yeah, Just keep your eye on CapcomMunity.com. We'll probably uh, post some yeah, article Twitter, about Facebook as well too. Different stream. Um, what else is going on? Friday is usually Challenge Capcom, uh, mm -hmm. which we have their we have their graphics here since we all use the same machine. But uh, you can catch them on Fridays for Challenge Capcom. Um, I think that about wraps it up. But yeah, we'll go out uh, with you Thursday's guys. Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday. Usually, Gregor Man running that. Yeah. Uh, right here on uh, Capcom Communities. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Yep. Bye bye.